ओके दिस रिलीज ऑफ दिस बुकलेट इज ऑल्सो विन दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द अटैक्स ऑन डेमोक्रेसी इन त्रिपुरा the multifarious manner in which the rss bjp have mounted fascistic attacks on the cpm the left and the rest of the opposition in the state out of the hundreds of uh, incidents that have occurred 70 such testimonies which were collected by comrade binda karat have been uh, narrated in this booklet which give you gives an idea the degree of fascistic attacks that are being mounted by the rss and the bjp and that is the real face of the rss bjp and their commitment to destroy democracy and democratic institutions in our country and as we were going to release this uh, booklet yesterday the former chief minister and leader of the opposition in tripura comrade manik sarkar was prevented from addressing a meeting on the anniversary of the october revolution which had uh, i mean nothing to do with the disputes that uh, the rss bjp has with the rest of the people of tripura but they might try to block the meeting they attacked the comrades those who were returning back from after the meeting whatever for the meeting that took place they were attacked and a total of 35 people were injured yesterday including the uh, uh Narayan Mr Narayan Choudhury an elected MLA his car was attacked and these sort of attacks have been continuing ever since this government has come in tripura the unholy alliance between the BJP and the IPFT and they have been unleashing these attacks so this booklet is actually a narration of the manner in which these attacks have uh, uh, taken place and there are various levels at which these attacks have been mounted one is the outright murder of cpm comrades five have died so far at another level the efforts uh, efforts have been made and a large scale destruction of cpm offices and the houses of our comrades and the homes have been attacked and many of these uh, many of these attacks have taken place in front of the young children of the families and these children naturally are left traumatized for the rest of their lives as a result of these attacks and the after the formation of the government the attacks mounted to another level when the state administration and the state police the law and order machinery whose job is to ensure peace and ensure that law and order is maintained in the state have been acting at the behest of the state government and mounting attacks on our comrades our properties of their houses and the party offices and and these attacks have continued unabated till yesterday the incident on comrade manik sarkar that i mentioned beyond this there's also yet another level of attack and that is to destroy the livelihood of the cpim workers and what they have been doing in order to make a living during the course of the left front government many social welfare measures and schemes were implemented and those who were associated with these schemes they are being attacked these schemes are being destroyed and at the other level those who rely on agriculture basically farming as their livelihood they are being uh, deprived of the rights to their land etc so these sort of attacks not only have been mounted then immediately after the elections but they have been going on since march this year that means for over 6 months now such attacks have been continuing and they're continuing even today and uh, this sort of attacks have been apart from being condemned on behalf of the cpm we only have to reiterate that a similar thing happened in the 1980s when the semi fascist terror unleashed by the then congress in the tujs government that was in office we not only thwarted but we defeated that attack and came back to win the consecutive four elections 
in the state of Tripura. Once again, that will happen. Our comrades are paying the price, they are being martyred, they are sacrificing. But we want to once again reiterate, as we have said in this booklet, that as long as the color of the blood is red in all, all our human beings, the red flag can never be lowered and this resistance will be mounted, these attacks will be defeated and democracy and the rule of law and the foundations of our constitutional republic, those will be defended and will be further strengthened. So that is the idea of the booklet, to bring it to the awareness of the people at large of what actually is happening in Tripura and what is the real face of the RSS BJP and how they are out to destroy the constitutional republican order of India. That is the purpose for which this booklet has been prepared. So as I said in the foreword, we are grateful to Comrade Brinda for having undertaken this task so that the reality comes out before the country and the people of what is the real face and character of this fascistic RSS agenda in India. Just to add uh one or two points to what Comrade Sitaram has said. In the course of the interviews, one aspect which came out very clearly was that while all sections of Chipura society from all communities have been equally attacked, one very disturbing factor which came to light was that there is a concerted effort by the BJP RSS to sow communal divisions and communal feelings in many areas where the minorities have voted on block for the CPIM. <coughs> and in this booklet you will find some of the experiences of some minority community supporters of the left who have been specifically targeted with very communal language. And this is something which in Tripura has been totally absent for the last so many decades. So what we find is that on the one hand, you have the IPFT in BJP in a ruling alliance in which one section is certainly still trying to sow divisions between tribals and non-tribals. And at the same time, you have the RSS work in which they are trying to mobilize against minorities, which I think is very dangerous. Uh, for Tripura, it is a border state, it has been a symbol of harmony under the left front, and this added dimension of the attacks on the left is also something of deep concern. 